Welcome back, my dear crypto friends. And I now want to show you something um, very cool with ETH. We're going to be looking at the macro picture, what has been going on, so you can actually understand this. Uh, I wanted to start here, but let's actually look at the bigger picture. So we had gone, as you might remember, up to $1,400. Since then, guys, okay, and I just showed this in the Bitcoin video. Go back and check if you are not sure yet about the trend changes about highs lows so you can understand it. so look we are coming from the absolute highs since those absolute highs it's just amazing eth was completely dumping down so we built one lower high after another one lower high after another one lower high after another before we broke down here look at this we went down up to 80 dollars okay so those were the lows of uh, ETH, just to also for you to see how uh, strong bottom ones, like if, if an asset, you know, is completely destroyed, how strong the up move can be. Just have a look at this. Uh, ETH is coming. Obviously, it's just, you know, going from 80 to 160. So it's doubling. We made a 100% move just from that bottom. But it's okay. You wouldn't have to have, you know, got the bottom. I mean, there were amazing plays here in between on the smaller time frames. But we are looking at the weekly now, okay? So on the weekly, this was yet another lower high. Look at this. So it was yet another lower high. And then we built a higher low here, okay? So why is this a lower high? Obviously, compared to the previous one. This is, as we have seen, ongoing since 1,400, okay? Lower high, higher low, okay? We're coming sort of, look at this. We are completely rejecting, but this is the same high region, okay? Now we're for the first time breaking above the 160 here. We're building higher lows. This is the weekly trend change, okay? This is the weekly trend change. And from here, we are essentially going, as you can see, with the weeks up to 100, uh, 360. So we obviously doubled yet another time. Altogether, we quadrupled from the bottom. From those highs, we built lower, like we came down. Look at this. This, this was the last higher low on the way up. We, in just one push, we broke them through, albeit just unclear because we have so many... Um, inside bars going on so we could even say okay that's the first significant lower uh lower low here and then we have a lower lower high and we get another lower low but look again okay just at the number of dojis of spinning top candles of dojis especially towards the end so this is now the one two three four five six seventh week of indecision candles with eth okay this is major so the seventh week where we have not not rather uh, decision candles, but look, this was the last one. And if we now look closely where we came to, okay? Now look where this low is, okay? The first time when we perfectly bounce off, by the way, from the region, up to 30%. Then the big thump with BTC came. ETH also came down. But look, we didn't go that far lower, okay? We went as slow as, what is this region? Oh, it's the 160. Look at this. So ETH is literally trying to uphold this previous region when we had now doubled yet another time we are trying to uphold the region if you just discount those ugly wicks we have essentially managed to uphold 160 okay and now we can go to one time frame uh smaller so we can zoom into the daily and if we zoom into the daily and have a look what happens here so this is the first time when we touch this region of the 160 sort of 165 okay perfectly bounced then btc sells off yet again we come crushing down then we build a beautiful double bottom here okay like how can you see the double bottom always perfectly with the w okay that's always the best pattern how you can see it if you have like a sort of a clear bear channel here going on and then you have your pullback high okay so this is the first low this is called the pullback high then we are coming down in the w shape we're building the second significant low but look what happens okay so does this double bottom potential get confirmed? No, it doesn't because we are stalling at exactly the pullback high. And this is where we are in, okay? If we want to now put in, uh, uh, you know, uh, the trend lines, we get a beautiful equilibrium range. Look at this. So this is even on the daily. Look at the last one here. I prolonged it. So, I mean, here it's not respected, obviously, but you get the highs here so you can see it, okay? So... We get beautiful highs here one time. I mean, the lows, I don't even have to mention quite a few times here. Basically, just grinding. 
we get the highs yet again here. And now, since BTC has rejected, we could even have made a triple top here. And it is, it is a beauty, okay? And like we had just said, if we just zoom out, okay? I mean, if, if I just take this, just scroll this longer. I mean, you can perfectly see this. I can even make it like this. Let me just actually um, get the rectangle. Okay, and let's, let's just look at that range, okay? So that's the range. This is the range we are in. And look, okay? Just pay close attention. This is exactly where ETH eventually broke that sort of 160. I mean, even in this try, we came up to 180, but we consolidated it again before the big push came, okay? So this is the same region, okay? This is exactly the same highs here, 187. Look at this, okay, 190. Where are we right now? Look at this, 192, 194. This is exactly where we're in, okay, 192. We are basically between the 190 up to 200 psychological, you could say. So what is the potential, okay? What is the potential if we take the zone out? I hope you can see it. Let me let me show you with the, with the measure here. So if we break now this even quadruple top, if we count this one in, this is like solid, as you can see, 15% here, okay, up until here. It's like so, solid 15% up until the highs, unleveraged. This is the least to come to, okay? If if ETH, like if the whole market, obviously Bitcoin, uh, Grandpa Bitcoin manages to break above higher, this would be the least to come to. We could even go into the previous range, okay? Of the of the previous highs. Again, why? Like just just go to the weekly, just just zoom in. Um, if we can take this zone, like look at the indecision. If we can take it out, you know, this will be the least to come to. So the least will be fifteen percent. If not we will come to the previous ranges here, okay? So with a solid 40, as you can see, up to 50%. So this is the potential. So we are getting, look at the shape, look at the shape here, getting down slowly, you know, rounding up here, the bottom. If we can break this above, obviously, this is sort of a wedgie pattern, although it, obviously it's not textbook, we can come to the previous ranges here. So this lower high, okay? This would be the least to come to 15% unleveraged, you know, as you know, if you know how to trade, if you know how to put your stop loss, your risk, this can be an amazing trade. By the way, before I forget this, uh, I thank my mentee Mike for this. So Mike uh, actually brought me to this. I wasn't even close looking because so many things currently going on for IG, but he put a trade in here and this is how I, it caught my attention. Okay. So at least this beautiful equilibrium. So if we get the drawings in back again, this is the equilibrium to the upside potential. Obviously, we are still grinding, okay? So that means if we now take this to the downside, okay? Also the downside, look at this. It's a beautiful rectangle equilibrium shape. You can short this from here and then we will have the bottom potential. 11 up to again, 15%, okay? So 11 up to 15% unleveraged to the bottom where we had this W, where we had the double bottom going on. This is the case. ETH is currently one of the clearest candidates. If you look at this, because Bitcoin is not clear, we don't have an equilibrium range or anything, okay? We just rejected from the previous bottom. I made the analysis, uh, go back and check. But yeah, so, uh, but in any case, ETH has this beautiful potential. And this is gonna be the candidate that I'm gonna be personally watching just because of the clear levels, okay? So uh, Bitcoin is on a, on a uh, basically on a downtrend on the weekly chart. As we have seen, even on the daily, now it's breaking lower. Bitcoin would have to change that trend, okay? So we would have to hold this previous bottom here. We would have to break above higher. We would have to clearly break the 10 to 11K psychological in order for ETH to see this bullish scenario. This is crucial because without grandpa, ETH can break. I mean, if you just look in the direct correlation, okay? We beautifully made up for the bottom that was lost hugely. We came up to 40% here, as you can see. Also now, on an uptrend, perfectly going higher. Let's just look at the weekly chart here together. You can perfectly see this. So it's just beautiful, okay? We are tightening right now into this range with the uh, with the lows here, uh, lower highs coming in. So this sort of, you know, look at the cups. So if we can break the 23 to the upside again, then ETH has uh, potential against Bitcoin. Don't forget, we had broken the crucial 0.025 uh, uh, BTC uh, 
bottom basically in the direct relation this was the magic bottom look at this that was upholding the whole time okay i this was one of my last posts maybe two months ago at 30 percent loss so since here uh we had broken down look at this to the bottom okay 30 percent now we have bounced off and we are almost almost come to the to the range here eth is grinding so uh long story short eth could make up those percentages if bitcoin sees follow through don't forget even if eth becomes stronger against bitcoin that doesn't automatically translate into eth becoming stronger in us dollars it just means against bitcoin so both can be tanking okay so bitcoin will be tanking more eth will be tanking less if eth against bitcoin gains in value this is how correlation works you can also uh get this from your uh physics you know if you had physics in school uh if from, from your physics formula this is how it works you get one portion of the formula you can calculate the rest of it but one doesn't automatically equal the other one and so this is the case okay i'm personally going to be watching this like i said the probability is more that we essentially hold this region because we have been grinding quite some hard but even if you break it down we have beautiful uh follow through potential so um this is this is to the chart itself also want to just just uh, say this here so you make it yourself clear the best trades like if you just imagine okay like the best trades you do you make um such as these i had for example zrx one of my last big winners okay which just went up 15 percent without leverage okay i mean it went totally up 100 percent, but i'm not counting this like 15 to 20 percent which i personally took as profit and if you just imagine this i mean this is just unleveraged 20 percent okay if you get one move correct like you could even get a fake out you know you close your position but eventually you get like one big breakout you get a second big breakout just compare this to your bank account like if you were to wait for the you know for interest rates i mean you don't get anything from the banks anyways but i'm just want to show you like the comparison um the best hedge funds for example currently uh like bridgewater doing 40 percent per year okay they are uh you know they have so much more capital to um to deploy obviously but i just want to show you the percentages okay i mean don't kid yourself don't take too much risk if a real break happens it is amazing what you can do those percentages that you get here they accrue they they you know they add up and when they add up the account gets bigger what you have to make sure obviously is that you don't lose the cash flow okay like you get the cash flow in uh whatever you're doing your current job if you don't lose that cash flow you can always add up on those uh beautiful uh percentages and then it will just add up on your account uh of course you have to learn this what money and risk management you take like what what position size you take if you uh if you trade so you don't get too much into risk but once you got that um uh you can slowly add up uh on your account and then you will do a killing but like i said <laughs> this is how it looks like if you want to do this yourself i also said in the bitcoin video better shoot me a message better learn this from the get-go like from the you know um from the basics i just showed like with the highs with the lows with the lego bricks building up on that are coming the patterns and then building up on that we get the money and risk management perfectly trading just as a hedge fund would do just as a prop shop would do okay just as the professional traders are doing this because without this money in risk management you are lost you have no chance uh in in being a profitable trader over the long term this is the case my dear eth traders i hope you had some value if it was so smash the like button feel free to comment if something is unclear if you have any questions happy to answer Otherwise, we will see each other on the next ETH crypto analysis. Say adios, amigos. See you. <laughs>